Welcome back kids. Today we will learn about plants. Observe the plant that grows on land. Can you identify the parts of the plant? Which parts of plant usually found above the ground? Which parts are usually found underground? Which parts are colorful and attractive? Let's take an example of a strawberry plant. There are five parts of plant. Number one, roots. Number two, stem. Number three, leaf. Number four, flower and number five, fruit. Now we will discuss the functions of parts of plants. Roots, hold the plant firmly to the ground. Take in water and mineral salts from the soil or surroundings. Stem, holds the leaves and helps them to reach for sunlight. Carries materials, such as water, mineral salt and food around the plant. Leaves make food for the plant. Flowers, helps flowering plant to reproduce. Fruit, helps plant to reproduce. Let's study about roots. A plant stands tall even when the rain falls on it or when the wind blows at it. This is because the roots anchor or hold the plant firmly to the ground. Pull out a small weed and observe its roots. Does the weed have short roots or long roots? Is it easy to pull out the weed together with its roots? Some plants have long roots that grow deep into the soil. Other plants have shallow roots that spread far and wide to hold the plants firmly to the ground. Besides holding plants firmly to the ground, roots have another very important role. Roots take in water and mineral salts from the soil or surroundings. Mineral salts are needed for plants to grow well. Water is needed for keeping the fleshy part of a plant free and for the plant to make food. Some fruits or vegetables we eat is a root of its own plant. For example carrot, beetroot and turnip. There are two types of roots. In the picture plant A is fibrous root and B is taproot. The roots of some plant, like carrot, consist of a long main root called taproot with many smaller roots branching from it. This type of root system is called the taproot system. Other plants, like grasses have fibrous root system that is made up of many roots about the same size. Have a look at their differences. Now let's discuss about stem. The roots of a plant take in water and mineral salts from the surroundings. How do the water and mineral salts reach the leaves? How does the food made in leaves reach the roots? To find out, we will do an experiment. This experiment will tell us the function of stem. Step 1. Take some white flowers and a jar of colored water. You may use one color or as many different colors as you like. Step 2. Place the flowers in the glass of colored water and leave them for a day. After a day, observe the petals of the white flowers. What color have they turned into? Inside a stem, there are many tubes that carry water mineral salts and food from one part of the plant to another. So when the stems carried colored water, it changed the colors of the white flower. So, the function of the stem is to transport materials around a plant. The stem joins the roots to the other parts of a plant. It holds the leaves and enables them to reach for sunlight that is necessary for making food. Some plants have woody stem. The trunk of a tree is a woody stem. The covering of the trunk is called the bark. Smaller plants with woody stem are called shrubs. Some plants have non-woody stem. Herbs are plants that have non-woody stems. Some plants, such as climbers and creepers, have weak stems. They climb, creep or twine around for support. 
Most stems grow above the ground but some grow underground. These underground stems store food as well. Some example of these stems are ginger and water chestnut. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at thestudypod01 at gmail.com.